Jamie Korab. Thank you so much my, for coming. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right. So I know nothing about curling, like nothing at all. I know that there are brooms and I know that there are rocks and that's the extent of it. So first of all, can you explain how curling works? Do we have an hour? But basically, <laughs> no. So essentially how curling works, it's you have two teams. So similar to baseball or hockey, each team throws eight rocks. You have four people on a team. Each person throws two rocks and the teams would alternate. There's four positions on a team, lead, second, third, and skip. Now your skip would be like the captain or the general on a battlefield. He's the person that calls the shots trying to figure out the best way to victory. Once all eight rocks are thrown, 16 in total, everyone huddles up around the circle, the house as it's called, uh, which is like a target in darts or so a bullseye. That's, the house, right that's there. the house there. Okay. So once all 16 rocks are thrown, eight per team, we get around and see which teams are closer. So if I have three rocks closer than any of yours, I score three. You could have eight rocks in the house, but if I have one of mine closer, I score one, you don't score any. So Like closer to the center of the house? Closer to the middle, or the button as we would call it. Oh, the button, okay. The button. 